bag. Okay. For our lifeline, I made last ditch survival talks. <laughs> what are you gonna do with the rest of your airplanes if you can't fly? <laughs> Fucking downer. <laughs> Not good. Okay. Dizzy you can fucking show rascal. Three, and it'll be videoed and you'll be embarrassed. You can them. wear my, my, um, my, what's these things called? Boob tubes? Boob tubes. I need a boob tube. You could wear Just mine if you wanted. It is from Urban Outfitters. It's a good need quality a boob tube. one. Boob tubes. You should what? just be able to see the nipple. Or you could wear a shirt over can you top. Ed, can you edit? Yeah, I do that a lot. Steven Stills <laughs> Live. People don't know that, but you just can't even need any people. This is a song about a car. I want a car song. Car song. Bring, bring, bring. Where's my fucking down home Did Louisiana coffee? Yes. Here. Great. Yeah. I've been here now, coming here for about 12 fucking years. And uh, to be a little honest with you, <laughs> I thought I'd be a little bit bigger than this by now. Seriously. Like, seriously. <laughs> I have friends that don't even come here anymore. You guys are like keeping me your little secret, are you? Just... Don't tell anyone about Tom, or he won't come back to this shithole. So, God, so be careful. Now, now uh, I don't know if a lot of people in this room know this. Right? We got old fans, new fans, but uh, it, I've been doing comedy now, believe it or not, since 19. 89. Longer than some of you cunts in this room have been born. Seriously, I think your mom and dad may have fucked to one of my comedy albums. <laughs> I sitting there going, play the meat man one again, Ed. Oh, that made me laugh. <laughs> Why do you always come when he says faggot? You've changed, Gary. You've really changed. <laughs> so, and here's the problem. Here is the problem. Because I've been laughing at shit for so fucking long, I laugh at fucking everything. Okay? And when I mean everything, I mean everything. Now, I don't even know who the fuck you are. What's your name? Craig. Craig. Right on, Craig. Now, I have, this, I have this theory, Craig, okay, that most people are decent human beings. Would you agree with that, Craig? Yeah, yeah, a couple cunts out there. For the most part, we're all good people. And Craig, would you think that decent people know what the right thing to do is. Would you agree with that? <laughs> Fucking of course. So if we got all these decent people that know what the right thing to do is, how come we never fucking do it, Craig? <laughs> like, you take a look at anything in this world right now, Craig. You go, hey, who's the president of the United States <laughs> of America? <laughs> Oh, he ain't a decent human being, is he? Well, he's this misogynistic, homophobic, racist, bigoted, cunt-faced dick fuck. He is. He totally is. You know? Uh, I can only be sure on the dick fuck part, but uh, from what I've heard. And I mean, you can take it anywhere, you know? Even if you, even if you look here in your own country, Scotland, and you're here in Scotland, Craig, fucking, you ask yourself, you know, you go out there, you go, how come there's so many fucking poor people in Scotland? 
And, and from what I understand, 1% of the population has all the money, and the rest of us are digging through trash bins to find half-eaten fucking Jeff kids. <laughs> we all go, ah, it's the right thing to do, Tom. It feels right. But then, Craig, when you suggest something that might help, well, well, why don't we kill the 1% and get our fucking money back? <laughs> I've killed for less. <laughs> People go, ah, it doesn't feel right to me, Tom. <laughs> doesn't feel right. You gonna eat that Jaffa cake, Tom? <laughs> and that's on a light note. So, I guess what I'm trying to say, Glasgow, um, if anyone in here has a moral compass of any fucking kind, you gotta get the fuck out of here now. <laughs> if you're one of these cunts that hears the word shit on BBC One at seven o'clock, and you need to write a letter? <laughs> you gotta get the fuck out of here now. <laughs> now, we're all still here, this is good. Mm. Now, what I really want, what I really want to know, now, what I really want to know, how I want to start this, I want to know um, how many people in here, by applause, have recently fallen in love, ladies and gentlemen, how many? <laughs> wow, wow, wow. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. <laughs> no new love here, Tom. This is fucking Glasgow, okay? Just a lot of old love hanging around here, Tom. Fuck, come to my house, you'll smell old love all over the place. Hey, where's that old love smell coming from, Tom? Well, it's coming from the curtains where I wipe my dick off on this shit all the time. Fucking no new love. <laughs> That's hilarious. Now, now, the only reason I ask, the only reason I ask, ladies and gentlemen, is because I myself have recently fallen in love. Thank you. And it's nothing too serious yet, okay? We've only been seeing each other now for a little over two decades. <laughs> Tonight is actually a real special night. Not a lot of people know this, and I can't believe I'm about to tell you this. But tonight is our 22nd wedding anniversary, believe it or not. That's right, thank you. Stop it. <laughs> and I'm spending it in this basement with you, cunt. How romantic I am. Uh, now, the funny part is, is she can't be with us tonight, which is a bit of a tragedy. Uh, she's, she's in the Gla Glasgow Ibis right now. Uh, we were gonna get a travel lodge, but I thought it's her special day. So... Let's spend the extra 14 pounds. <laughs> Let's do it. Get in her good books. <laughs> and see, after tonight, after tonight, I'm thinking about heading back there and telling her that I love her for the first time. <laughs> Cause Craig, you don't want to bang that out too fucking soon. <laughs> Scares him away a little bit, Craig. Now, Craig, I can't help to notice that you are sitting beside a lovely lady here. Is that right? And she's touching you, and nobody's screaming sexual assault yet. <laughs> Be careful, it's a career wrecker. <laughs> Thank you. Up to date. Up to date. I changed. 
Now, now, Craig, uh, what's your name, by the way? Sarah. How are you, Sarah? You always got to add that Scottishness to it, don't you? Sarah? Now, Sarah, obviously, Craig is your boyfriend. Maybe. Oh, maybe. How long you been with her, Craig? Probably about what? A few months. When I asked if anybody fell in love recently, <laughs> did you not hear that? That's hilarious. Now, I'm loving this guy over here. What's your name? Mark. How you doing, Mark? And that's your lovely lady? That, oh, <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. I can pick him tonight, can I, Mark? Huh? Fuck, <laughs> I don't even want to know, actually. That's... Welcome to Go Van. <laughs> now, is that your sister there? <laughs> Just like a fucking family night out here? <laughs> What's your name, my man? Derek. Now, Derek, that, better... that ain't your sister, is it, Derek? No, that's, my... that's your fucking wife. <laughs> Looking for that guy. Took me a little while, but I hunted him out. <laughs> oh, that's excellent, man. What, sorry, what was your name again, Mr. Dave? D David, and you've been with her for... <laughs> did I get that right, or did I fuck that one up, too? Is it David? Uh, that'll do. I love it, fucking. You're Dave the whole fucking night. <laughs> now, Davey, now, now this... I don't even know why that's funny. I'll figure it out later on. Uh, now, David, that is your gal. What the fuck did I... Oh. Huh? Oh, Derek. Fucking... <laughs> All right, Derek. Now, Derek. Derek, I want to ask you a question. You said you've been with this lovely lady. And what is your name? M Mandy. That's a great name. Uh, get in love with a little Mandy, are you, Derek? Well, a lot of us are. Now. Now, Derek, do you... Do you remember the first time you said I loved you to Mandy? Because that is an important thing to say to somebody. First fucking night. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Will you watch me jerk off? <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> oh. And, uh, Mandy, do you remember the first time you said I love you to Derek? No. no. <laughs> I just watched him jerk off. He said I loved you and then uh, said you're a weird guy, Derek. <laughs> it was back when you could do it, Tom, and people just thought you were creepy. <laughs> now, Derek, that's f fabulous. You know what I mean? Because you gotta pick your moments. This is my thing. See, I, I was thinking about saying it to my gal, Derek, uh, when we had our first child. You obviously have children with Mandy. Y yeah, were you there on the battle end of that motherfucker? Did you see that come out? That's how long we've been on this earth, Derek. Fucking long enough to see a pussy come out of a fucking, a pussy come out of a baby. <laughs> You know what I'm trying to say, right, Craig? That'd be weirder if it happened that way. This is a pussy. How'd he start eating this shit? Yeah, man. You've been long enough. And that is an incredible thing to see, is it not, Derek? Absolutely. Changed my whole life when I think about pussies now. Okay? Because when you use the word pussy, Craig, what do you think? 
You think weak. You think weak. You're a pussy. You're weak. But me and Derek, I saw eight pounds of flesh come out of a pussy. And that pussy went right back to normal like nothing ever fucking happened. That's, that's like being hit by a car and just walking on like... You know what I mean? So now, Craig, anyone calls me a fucking pussy, I'm like, you're fucking right at it. <laughs> right? That's what it is, girl power. Now, now that would have been a good time to say it when I have my first child coming out, okay? Now, you remember, she, I looked up at her, and if you ever seen a woman having a baby come out of her pussy, it's weird. I've never done it myself, so, but, fuck, her eyes were all in the back of her fucking head and just sweating and hair's all fucked up. You know what I'm talking about, Derek? Pretty much the ugliest you're ever going to see Mandy. And that is a fact. Let's be honest. Mandy, you'd never go out looking like that, would you? No. I'm not saying it. I'm just being honest. You know, you know, take a picture. <laughs> right? So, so, you know, and I thought, I thought that would be a good time. You know, fucking, so, so I was looking at her and then I thought to myself, for fuck's sakes, Tom, this chick's having a baby right now. She doesn't need to think about commitment. <laughs> and so... I said, I really like you a lot. <laughs> Let's get out of here. But, now that's why I love her, Derek, believe it or not. Because I've seen her at her worst, at her most vulnerable. And I still wanted to fucking be with her. Anyone can be with anybody when they're on their best behavior. Wait till you fucking see the psycho bitch coming your fucking way. <laughs> And then you decide if you love them or not. You went in a little too soon, Derek. <laughs> That's okay. That is fine. Now, now, I love her dearly, Craig, and, and this is the woman I spent my, my life with, right? And, and if it wasn't for her, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm not sure I would have written this show, Craig, okay? Because about eight, nine months ago, my, my sweet little cum bucket there. <laughs> First one, a lot of people's moral compasses are... <laughs> See? <laughs> yeah, a lot of people are going, I don't normally use that around the dinner table. It's uh, not a word I like to use. <laughs> but it is a funny word. Some people get really offended. The first time I heard that fucking, you know, my seven-year-old came out, cum bucket, that is the fun. Because it's not a real thing. <laughs> Nobody in here has a cum bucket, do you? No, nobody's had a handful of cum and said, hey, do you know where I can put this? <laughs> this here? Just a bunch of cum. Well, we got a bucket out back a lot of, just chuck it in there. Right? <laughs> and now, now why do I, now people would sit there and go, why would you say that? I'll tell you why, because it makes her laugh. It makes her laugh. We're not a PC couple. And every time I make it, if that makes her laugh, I'll use that all. That's her pet name for fuck's sake. <laughs> right? Now, anyways, so my sweet little princess for the rest of you fucking people. <laughs> Uh, my sweet little princess there, she's sitting there on the couch and she's got her Mary Claire open. Uh, that's a magazine, by the way. <laughs> like I'd be that rude, please. She's got her... She's <laughs> got, her... <laughs> got a Mary Claire wide open there. Everybody can see it. And, uh, and she turns to me and she says, uh, hey, Big Daddy Long Dick. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> hey, big daddy. She goes, uh, she goes, hey, big daddy. I've been reading this article here on middle age. And it says in this article that between the ages of 45 and 55, you are officially middle aged. And I said, get the fuck out of here. Craig, I've been middle aged for two years now and I didn't even fucking know it. But you know what it means, Craig? I finished youth. I fucking smashed it. I rocked you. Do you know how hard it's been not to get a real job for 45 years? You think that was easy? I smoked drugs every day. I fucking wore sandals and never woke up before noon. I dare you to do better, Craig. Seriously. I live that shit. But now, now I'm middle age, and I'm gonna smash this fucking shit too. Now what I wanna know, by applause, how many middle-aged people we got in here tonight? By who, who's middle-aged? Yeah. Fucking, I want, I want you over there. Ah, oh, fuck, okay, I'm clocking you, and fuck off your middle-aged. There is no, what, 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 Mark, is that right? How old are you, Mark? 70 fucking three. <laughs> Fuck, you're looking good for 73. How, oh, it is your sister, true. Uh, fucking, uh, how old are you really, Mark? 40, I'm fucking 40. What the fuck happened to you, Mark? <laughs> That's crazy. All right, well, we got, and Derek, you're middle-aged? 48, okay, Derek, I love you. Now, what I also wanna know, who's, who's older than 55 by applause? Few of yes. You over there, what's your name? Ali. Ali. I, is it Ali, did I get that one right? Ali, I don't even want, I like the fact you're in the darkness, Ali. Cause that's where you old cunts belong. Okay. Now, I got... D now, Ali, how old are you, Ali? 59. 50 fucking nine. Okay, Ali, stand up so everybody can fucking look at you. All right. This is what we're fucking looking at. Nice to meet you, Ali. Now, Ali, are you with the... Uh, actually, don't tell me, Ali. Now, the reason I want you here, Ali, is because you finished off all the fucking levels. Okay? You're, you're fucking done youth, middle age. You're heading for fucking high score in the finish line, Ali. And you're a nice reference point. Now, again, I don't want to go, who was middle-aged over here? Just, I really need to know, right? Right there, that's who I'm. What's your name, my man? Andrew. Andrew, nice meeting you, Andrew. How old are you, Andrew? 47. 40 fucking seven, perfect. Andrew and Allie, nice meeting you. Get ready, Andrew and Allie. <laughs> now, Andrew. Andrew, in this article, said some shit that I'm not so sure is fucking true. Okay, Andrew? What it said in this article, Andrew, that when you hit middle age, you're supposed to ditch the partner that you're fucking with to get a newer model. Now, Andrew, is this your partner here? Yeah? yeah? How, what's your name? Jackie. Jackie, how long you been with Andrew for? 23 fucking years. Didn't ditch her, did you, Andrew? Andrew and Allie. No, Andrew and what? What was your name? Jackie, Andrew. Okay, hey, Allie. 
59. Are you still married, Allie? Yeah. How long you been, who are you with, Allie? Elaine. Elaine, how long you been with Allie for? 34 years. 34 fucking years. See? I'm, I told, I don't think that shit's true. And Elaine, you know it. Because when you're with somebody that long, you can't just fucking, like Elaine, you probably had babies and shit with Allie and bought houses and went on vacations. How do you sit that cunt down and, and after all of that have to go, I can't fucking stand you anymore, Allie. And every time you talk, I want to stab myself in the face with a sharp spoon, I fuck. You can't fucking do it. Right? You can't either. No, that's a hard thing to do. Now, Craig, let's get back. Now, how old are you, Craig? 30, fuck, I thought you were in your 20s for fuck's sake. Hey, you see that, Mark? It's, it's called a good diet, Mark. Okay. Now, what I also want to know is who's, tw who's in their 20s here now? Who? 20. Ah, okay. What's your name? Me Melanie. How old are you again, Melanie? 22. 20 fucking two. Is this your boyfriend, Melanie? No. Nah, fuck it. Oh, do you have a boyfriend, Melanie? Just say yes and the joke goes on, Melanie. <laughs> Of course you do, even if you did. See, Melanie, at your age, if you wanted to break up with somebody, you could do it by text, Melanie. You could text that motherfucker and they're gone, ghosted. See, Allie can't do that. Allie cannot text Elaine and break it up. He would like to. It would be the easiest fucking thing, wouldn't it, Derek? As mad as Ali may want to get, there's not going to be that day. He'll come out and go, fuck you, Elaine, and fucking sharpening you. And then just text her, I don't love you anymore, Elaine. Hashtag over. <laughs> over. Over. You know. You know. He can't do it. And you want to know why? Because Elaine knows him too well now. Elaine's been with him too fucking long. Elaine will get that text, and two minutes later, she'll be like, hey, Allie, while you're out, could you pick up some milk? Uh, <laughs> hashtag, you know you always get like this, Allie, come home. <laughs> and, and Allie... You know damn well Allie's gonna text back shit like 2% or full fat. Uh, hashtag, I don't have a spine anymore. And neither do you, Andrew. Fucking check it out, Allie. Go to the doctor, Allie. Go to the doctor, get him to x-ray your spine. See what the fuck happens. They'll go, yeah, uh, yeah, Ali, you, you've got a spine. It's just been really inactive for about 30 years now. <laughs> and it's turned into a jelly form. Because <laughs> that's what happens when you're with a gal too long. Derek don't have a spine. But you know the funny part is? The longer a woman's with a guy, her spine gets fucking stronger. <laughs> I bet you Elaine's spine is made out of titanium right now. <laughs> Fucking, she's like Wolverine from the X-Men over here. Fucking, it's just strong, man. And, you know, fucking, because when you're young, you, you, fucking Melanie, you, your spine is fucked. I could twist your head all up. I could, I could have you crying in the bathroom just by telling you your shoes are shit. <laughs> but, 
That's a fact. That is a fucking fact. Now, now that was just one thing in the article, Andrew. That was just one thing. Uh, this article also said a, another thing that I thought was pretty fucking interesting, okay? It said, when you get to middle age, it says that you're also supposed to get that car you always wanted when you were Melanie's age, when you were in your 20s, that car to match your fucking awesomeness. <laughs> hey, Ali, what kind of pussy wagon you driving at 59? A van. A van. <laughs> <laughs> Melanie, you don't go near Allie. I don't care how much candy that guy carries. <laughs> guy, he's got a van. <laughs> That's a pretty good pussy wagon. Uh, uh, what about you, Andrew? What are you driving? I just bought an M2. An M2? Fucking. Do you have any kids? Oh, fucking, you spent all their money. Good on you. <laughs> Fuck that generation. And Melanie, just out of curiosity, are you, do you drive? Do you have a car and shit? Nah, you're riding your fucking bicycle around. <laughs> That's fine. And, it, and you, don't worry about it, man. Listen, Ali, don't sweat that shit. Because I, 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 I don't have a nice car either. And trust me, Ali, I could get a nice car. I could get a 64 Aston Martin if I fucking, I'm fucking Tom State for fuck's sake. Of course I can. Fucking Tom fucking State. And fucking all my Glasgow stand money. But I don't, Allie. I do not drive a nice car. You wanna know what I drive? I drive a 2002 Honda Civic. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Executive. <laughs> and do you wanna know the difference between a Honda and a Honda Executive? Is I got a little switch that I flick and the seats heat up. <laughs> That's the only difference. I, execs like their assholes warm. They're like, hey, Biff, how's your asshole? Piping hot, Tom, piping hot. Let's get into that boardroom and we don't, nobody likes a cold asshole around here, right, boys? All right. Now, now, Ali, you can appreciate this. But the reason I drive a 2002 Honda Civic Exec is because I know if that car gets stolen, it was an emergency. <laughs> You're not gonna fucking jack that piece of shit and go on a joyride. I, I couldn't even call my insurance company. I, I, they wouldn't believe me, man. I'd be like, hey, yeah, my Honda 2002's been stolen. They'd be like, is this you again, Tom? <laughs> hey, why don't you just do a three block radius, see if you didn't forget where you parked it. And, and listen, if you can't find it, we'll get that 500 pound check out to you as fast as we possibly can. Yeah, God darn it, what a, what a great company. I'm so glad I'm in with you. <laughs> <laughs> Now, those were just a couple of things. But you know what? I've been looking around, Andrew, and that ain't what middle age is, is it? Mm. People stay with their wives, people have nice cars. I started looking around what made middle age to me, man. And I don't know if you guys know this, but last year I took a year off and I did some fucking traveling, okay? But the funny part is, is I did not go to the same places Melanie would go at 20. Like, Melanie probably goes to Ibiza and shit. Am I, yes? Stay yes, and the <laughs> joke goes on. Why are you blocking up this comedy river? 
you might go to Ibiza, yeah? Of course, you're, you're fucking 22. Of course you're going to fucking Ibiza. Hey, Ali, when was the last time you have been to Ibiza, creepy old man? 30 fucking years ago. That's right, Ali. And you're not going there anytime soon, are you, Ali? No, you're fucking not. Okay, to be honest, Ali, the only time I think you'd go to Ibiza is to maybe look for your children or something. Right? Probably walking up and down the strip going, have you seen this girl? Some dude, hey, that's slutty Betty. <laughs> we were doing coke off her tits at a wet t-shirt contest. Like, oh, thank God she's alive. <laughs> she's alive. <laughs> yeah. She's so like her mother. That's, never forget your wild side, Elaine. Now. I did not go. I did not go to Ibiza. I, I, went, I went to a really fucked up place. You'll pre I went to a little place called Mozambique, <laughs> Africa. And, and I did something that I never would have done when I was your age. I actually, for the first time, checked out the travel advisory warning. <laughs> because I'm scared. And there's a lot of hate going on out there right now. A lot of unchecked hate. And listen, I don't mind hate. Do you mind hate, Andrew? No, no fuck, without hate, you got no love. But you gotta keep that shit in check. Now, Allie, you've been on the planet longest. <laughs> shit has been done to you. Ali, you must hate some shit. What the fuck do you hate, Ali? I hate evil. Evil. <laughs> you know what, Ali? If I had a badge right now, I'd give you that as the best answer I've heard on this whole tour. I've heard people go, I don't hate anything. And then I go, what about pedophiles? <laughs> Oh, do we like them here? I don't, I'm sorry, I thought they were hated. Uh, Tom, there's three of them amongst us right now and I, I think you've hurt their feelings. <laughs> so, <laughs> now, <laughs> of course. Now, Ali, you see, I, I hate evil too, but I, I do, I do, of course I do, uh, evil. <laughs> I hate myself sometimes because of it. But Ali, now Ali, I hate shit too, you know what I mean? But, but I keep that shit in check, you know what I mean? My hate is always in check. And, and I like, I hate Brussels sprouts. That's what I hate. And I've hated them for a long fucking time, Craig. I had one Brussels sprout when I was about six or seven, and it was the most disgusting thing I've ever put into my mouth. And there's been a lot of shit that has gone into this mouth. <laughs> now, fuck, I had it, and I've hated the rest of them ever since. But I kept it in check. You know what I mean? I didn't get a gun when I was going to the grocery <laughs> store. I didn't start swearing at him in the vegetable aisle. Going, you're not even a fucking vegetable. <laughs> Knock him off the shelf and go, you don't belong in this store. Go back to where you came from. <laughs> and creating a Brussels sprout refugee camp out in the parking lot people walking by all the Brussels sprouts wanting to help but don't know what to do. <laughs> you see what I'm getting at here, Allie? You see where my analogy's going? 
Okay, now. Now, I have a 16-year-old daughter, Derek, and she's a vegan. Yeah, fuck, and that's how I feel. Plant-eating guts? Time I hear about it! Now, everybody calm down. I, I keep her in a cage at home. Of course, I don't. Anyways, I have a, I have a vegan daughter, and, uh, and she came home with a couple of them. Freaked me out a little bit. Now, what the fuck is she doing with these Brussels sprouts? <laughs> but she put cheese all over them. And I didn't even know they were Brussels sprouts. And I ate one, and it was the most delicious thing I've ever had. And it made me think, you know, all those years, all those great Brussels sprouts I could have had. One Brussels sprout wrecked it for the rest of them. And I'm not getting that time back. Okay? So what I'm trying to say is, Allie, if you hate something, just put a lot of cheese on it. Am I right? Fuck it. Next time you see evil, just chuck cheese on that. <laughs> Fuck you, pedophile. <laughs> now, the reason, the reason I need to tell you that story is because, Craig, I don't judge anybody. I love people. I love them all, because it is hard being you. Whoever you are, it ain't fucking easy. And you don't need me or anybody else knocking you off your shit, right? And I love people because I think people make the culture. When I go traveling, Craig, I don't care about buildings. I don't care about clubs. I like the people because they're the one. Even when I fucking came here to fucking Scotland for the first time and met you fucks, <laughs> I could barely understand you, man. <laughs> Give him some bus fare, he'll fuck off. <laughs> okay. Now, it's what I'm trying to say, Craig, is I love everybody. Now, I'm in this little place called Nampula. Okay, now, is there, is there anyone here from Nampula tonight? <laughs> okay, usually a lot more, let's be honest. They follow me everywhere, crack. Fucking last night, you couldn't get a seat. There were so fucking many Nampula. <laughs> it's like, hey, save some for the locals. And they were like, bleh, 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 bleh. <laughs> I, don't, I don't speak their language, okay? I'm sorry, I don't. I don't. Once they get into the localisms, it's fucking... Uh, so anyways, I'm in this little cafe in Nampula, and I'm having myself a latte. Now, Elaine, are you even there anymore? No, Jackie? Oh, Jackie's fucked off. Go check the bathroom, and if she's got any cocaine left over, I want some. Now, Elaine, you still here, darling? Yeah. Okay. Now, Elaine, I love lattes. You're a nice, beautiful gal. You probably, you probably love lattes, don't you, Elaine? Yes. Yeah. Now, but they fuck you, Elaine. You know that, right? <laughs> fucking Starbucks, fuck. <laughs> okay. Because you gotta put, you gotta realize what you're buying. 
Three pound 40 for a latte. Yes, Elaine? Yeah. yeah. What is that? That is three pound 40 for 500 mils of hot milk. Okay, now let's put that into perspective. Allie, you drive a van. I'm pretty sure. How much does petrol cost? Too much. Too much. I'd need a better answer than that. But I like your comedy style. And I don't want you to stop trying either. Now. 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 Now, about pound 18 a liter. Would you say that to be true? Pound 18 for a liter. And you gotta kill people to keep that fucking price down. We're not killing enough dairy farmers, crack. I get that down. But... But well, we pay it, Elaine. We pay that price, and I'm gonna tell you why. And it's the reason I love them. It's because it's a drug, caffeine. It's a drug. It's a drug, it's caffeine. It, it, it's speed. It's, it's low on the speed spectrum, <laughs> but it is speed. And how do I know it's a drug, Elaine? Because I need five of them a day. <laughs> And there's another reason I know it's a drug, and you'll appreciate this, Craig. Uh, Craig, I want to ask you something. <laughs> Have you ever seen a Starbucks telly ad? No. no. Has, has anybody? No. Big ass company, never seen a fucking telly ad? <laughs> What's that about? I'll tell you what it's about. You never see a telly ad for Starbucks, because drugs don't need to advertise. <laughs> Allie, if you wanted cocaine, you know where to fucking get it, don't you, Allie? <laughs> yeah, 59. You weren't sitting there watching Antiques Road Show, <laughs> and all of a sudden, some guy comes on and... <sighs> Come on down to Carlos's Cocaine Warehouse. <laughs> We're going fucking crazy down here. <laughs> if we can't beat our competitors' prices, I'll cut their fucking family's head off. That's how fucking crazy Carlos is. We fucking, and we deliver late. <laughs> we deliver late. Everywhere. Right? You didn't need to see it. But you know what's sad about that? is every time I go into a Starbucks and that, there's no jingle in my head because there's no commercial for it, and I miss that. When you, watch when you walk into a coffee shop. Your head fucking empty as fuck. You walk into McDonald's, they've drilled that shit into you. You walk into McDonald's, you know, you'll be sitting there going, I'm loving it, you know? You're not, you're totally not loving it. It's more like, I'm tolerating it. Ba, 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 ba. Tolerating it. Right? Okay? And the problem is, is you need a jingle in your fucking head. And I was thinking of a couple, Craig. I think, like, maybe a Starbucks telly ad. I think Starbucks would be wholesome. A family thing. Family drug dispenser. <laughs> You know, maybe, maybe a guy and a girl with the same name as Alex, and they get their coffees mixed up and something goofy happens, and then maybe a little jingle could come on. So some like, some like, come on down to Starbucks. <laughs> you just might meet your new best friend. <laughs> Right, and you go, aww, I want to go to Starbucks now. I want to go to Starbucks. Or me, Costa Coffee, we're pretty sure we're Spanish. <laughs> Olay! <laughs> yeah. 
And that, that, that's French for milk, by the way. That's how <laughs> clever that one was. Uh, Cafe Nero, when the other two ain't Nero. <laughs> that. Okay. So anyways, anyways, Craig, I'm in Nampula with my latte and this short little dude comes up to me. Fucking real tiny guy, okay? Uh, he had bloodshot eyes, headband and a machete and shit, like freaking me out. And, he, and he's staring at me for about two minutes. And I'm sitting there going, what the fuck? What the fuck does this little farmer want? <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Fucking vegans. Can't get my mind off them. I come to a comedy club, I just want to forget about them playing. <laughs> <eating them. laughs> no. 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 Now, he's staring at me, and then he said the most fucked up thing I think anybody's ever said to me in my entire life, okay? Because he turned to me, and he went, Hey! You! And, uh, side note, Glasgow, if you've never heard a Mozambique accent, this is gonna be the best one you've ever fucking heard. You don't know it's like, Hey! You! Are you here to help us fight the government? <laughs> like, that is the most fucked up thing anyone's ever said to me, considering I'm all greased up and in my Speedos. <laughs> Does this cunt think these are my battle fatigues? <laughs> and I went, no! I'm not here to help you fight the government. I'm here to do comedy. And he went, comedy, eh? <laughs> well, where the fuck have you played? And I'm like, where the fuck haven't I played? I, I, I said the stand. <laughs> and he went, what, the one in Glasgow? And I'm like, for a child soldier, you sure do know your comedy. Oh, oh, a little child soldier humor there. That's, I had to get that out. Not a lot of, not a lot of people doing child soldier. Uh, when you get middle age, you don't give a fuck what you say no more. So, uh, fucking fuck child soldiers, man. We don't really believe in child soldiers here, do we, Craig? No. Nah, fucking seems like a good idea. Uh, but we don't, we don't believe in child soldiers here, which is fucked up because uh, uh, I've been here in Glasgow now for a couple days and uh, fucking, I have seen your children here. <laughs> have you seen them? They may not be child soldiers, but they're just as fucking terrified. <laughs> and thank God they ain't organized. <laughs> and just on a side note, you know, I thought what we should do to help out your problem is maybe we should round up about five to 10,000 Glaswegian children and give them petrol bombs and machetes and as much uh, iron brew as they can carry. <laughs> and then we just drop them off in Afghanistan. <laughs> you know what I mean, Craig? I mean, I, I know they're not gonna solve the conflict, that's obviously, but be honest. Wouldn't you like to see what happened? <laughs> just, 
It's called the fires everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Who gives a fuck? Ah. A child soul, just fuck him. I don't really care about the, too much of that shit anyways. Fucking thing. You, all you get, Melanie, all you get. You don't freak out about shit no more. You know what I mean? That's what I do know. Right, Allie? You know how to freak out, King, no more? Yep. You are? All right, Allie. <laughs> no, man. Fucking, I, I've started to realize that it's fucking calm this shit down, man. Because moments come and go, Allie. And you, you, with a child soldiers, they'll be gone in 50 years. Nobody's gonna know who the fuck they were. And it, and every and you you Mel, you're a millennial man. You're you're the smartest generation to ever walk this planet. But you're the most freak out motherfucking cunt. <laughs> you're like, oh my God, something's happened. Get me a sign. <laughs> I'm marching, and I don't even know fucking why. <laughs> I don't do that no more. Because moments, moments come and go, and the older you get, that's why you don't freak out. Like, even, even what, you know, a lot of people sit there and go, hey, Tom, what do you think about Donald Trump? My honest opinion, I don't give a fuck. 20 years from now, it ain't gonna fucking matter. And I'll prove my point. Watch this, Sally, watch this. Hey, Melanie, do you remember when the Berlin Wall came down? No, you fucking don't, Mel. <laughs> you don't. But hey, Allie, it was pretty important at the fucking time, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah Pink Floyd got back together. <laughs> fucking that important. Okay? And Mel, I was there. If you don't know what happened, I'll tell you what happened. Uh, the wall came down and a bunch of roided up, hairy East German women were released back into the population. <laughs> where we fucked a few of them and created, I think, the finest shop putters the world's ever seen. It's just me, right? Very true. And, and you know what the funny part is, is you start to learn that. You start to learn that, Melly. but your generation moves too fucking fast. Things come and they go quicker. Like Ali, in the beginning, like things lasted longer, didn't they? Like, remember Woolworth? <laughs> that shit was around for a long fucking time. And, and shit just comes and goes quicker and quicker now. You know, I don't, if my, when I get old, I don't know what I'm gonna tell my grandkids. They're gonna come up and ask me about these times, but there's too much shit going on. They'll go, hey, granddad, long dick. <laughs> Let me get that out of the way for you there. Right? Comes and goes. But some shit, some shit stays too long, eh, Allie? Yeah. This is what I do know. Now, let me ask you this. Uh, how many people in here are religious? How uh, I many religious? W one person. <laughs> Keeping the dream alive. <laughs> Nobody's religious anymore, Allie. But it's, that shit is still fucking around. But I think it's starting to go now. Because I don't think we know fuck all about religion anymore. Do you know that? I do not. I think we've narrowed it down to holidays. <laughs> That's all our religious knowledge is holidays. And, and it's not even just yours. I bet you, you know other people's religious holidays, okay? Now, like, I mean, um, if we got any Muslim brothers and sisters in here tonight, I love you dearly, you know that. Uh, but yours is Ramadan. Now, uh, Andrew, have you ever celebrated Ramadan? No. Nah, but fuck, it's pretty big to them. And it looks fucking exciting, too. I've never celebrated, but I picture all the kids probably Ramadan Eve in their Ramadan pajamas. You know, just getting them on, going, I can't wait to get up and eat nothing all day. I'm having such a good time, I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> you 
that'll be all right. Now, now wait a second. That is somebody else's. That's somebody else's religion. I don't even think we know fuck all about our own. And I don't even know what the fuck you are, actually. But I know there's a lot of churches out there that haven't been turned into weather spoons yet. <laughs> Trying to get as many as we can. We're working on it. We're working on it. Now, I don't think we know fuck all about our own. And Mel, you're, you're the youngest. You're the one that's going to keep religion alive or, or not. And I don't think you know fuck all about it. Allie might know some shit about it because he fucking probably had a priest dick in his ass. And <laughs> it's just the time he comes from, okay? When you got a priest dick in your mouth, you learn a little more about the religion. But that's not going to happen to you, Mel, because we got rid of that problem. But Mel... I don't think you know anything. I don't think you know anything. Like, Mel, uh, what Christian holidays do you know? What are the Christian holidays? Huh? You don't know any Christian holidays? Are you fucking Christmas? That's a good one. Probably the biggest one, Mel. Good thing you're not on pointless, Mel. Name a Christian holiday. Christmas. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> What's the only other one you know, Mel? Easter. Easter, take it from them. <laughs> Easter, that's right. But listen, when I asked if anyone was religious, we all said no except for some back crazy lady over there. <laughs> okay? And if we're not religious, how come these holidays are still around? I'll tell you why. It has nothing to do with religion. The reason these holidays are still around are because you got family and kids. Because that's what makes those holidays fucking exciting. Okay? If you got no goddamn kids, you're not celebrating Easter. If you're an 80-year-old couple with no kids, you're not waking up Easter morning going, hey, Marge, I hit some eggs out in the backyard. <laughs> you want to go and look for them, Mark? That's a turd, Mark. That's a turd. That's a turd. Where'd you find that, Mark? Get that out of the basket and go wash your hands, Mark. <laughs> Fuck's sakes, put some clothes on tits are down to your knees there. Huh? Okay. And whether you're religious or not, nobody's giving up Christmas. That's going to stick around forever. And we all love Christmas. You guys love Christmas for your reasons? Yes, you do. I love it for mine. I love Christmas for one reason, one reason only, because my gal buys all the fucking gifts. I don't have to buy one gift. Which is awesome, because when the kids open up their presents, I'm just as surprised as they are. <laughs> I'm like, I got an iPad. I'm like, no fucking way! <laughs> and she loves it. She loves it. She loves Christmas, because she, cause she loves shopping. She likes shopping, Elaine. Oh, that's fine, Elaine. That's fine. Some women, some women love shopping. Some don't. Uh, you know, fucking Elaine, you obviously don't like shopping. You're you're probably a manly woman now. <laughs> and I I mean that night because manly women don't like to shop, right, Elaine? Yeah, you'd rather be out fishing. <laughs> Maybe up in the mountain, shaving your legs with a sharp stone you found. Which is fine. Which is fine. Because we, <laughs> we could say that now. And I'm going to say this, too. This is the generation you've created, which is beautiful. And because, Elaine, when I say manly, I don't mean you're not beautiful. You're probably one of the most beautiful women in this goddamn room. But you... You just, thank you, fucking Lane and her friends. 
uh, Elaine, of course. But if you said, see, you just think manly. Because if I said 30 years ago, if I said manly woman, you wouldn't think a beautiful woman. You'd think, <laughs> But that's the world we live in. You're allowed to think whatever the fuck you want to think and be who the fuck you want to be. Hey, Craig, you want to cut your penis off and go piss in the fucking chick washroom? I'm not going to judge you. I want to see it happen. I'm not one of these guys. And, and, and Allie, you're so lucky to have a manly woman, Allie. I'm glad they showed up, finally, because manly women, they're not princes. They're not, they, they, they fuck you different, Allie. <laughs> manly women will shove a loaded Glock 45 up your ass while they're jerking you off and staring into your eyes because they get off on the fear. <laughs> on. What's gonna blow first, big boy? We're moving on. <laughs> things mean different things now. But you know what I like the most? Now, like I say, Mel, your generation is the smartest generation that ever walked this planet, just because you got so much goddamn information. But, Ali, I want to ask you something. Are you finding the, the social media technology just passing you by a little bit now? Yeah, we bet. A wee bit. What about you, Andrew? Definitely, fucking. And you see, Mel, uh, fucking, this is your, we can't keep up with your generation. I call you the on generation because your, your generation's always asking us old fucks, hey man, are you on this or you on that or my friends are on this and then somebody told me I should get on that. But uh, to me, Ali and Andrew, being on something, <laughs> different meaning completely. <laughs> It ain't an app. If you walked up to old Allie, hey, hey Allie, are you, are you on Instagram? I would be like, nah, I'm on two hits of acid. Trying to, <laughs> trying to connect with the sunshine. <laughs> Spider monkey with a phone. <laughs> okay? Now what I want to do is I want to see how far Allie does go and Andrew goes on social media and where you overtake them. And Melanie, you will overtake them. Okay? You ready, Al? Okay, Ali, we're gonna start off with something easy, okay? Maybe you're all not on it. But, okay, Ali, are you on the emails, Ali? Yeah. Yeah, we still got fucking Ali. <laughs> What about you, Andrew? You on the emails? Yeah. Of course you are. Do you want to know why? Because you were there when they were born. <laughs> you understand them. You grew up with them. Mel, we didn't even have high-speed broadband. You had to call the internet up <laughs> and pray to God it was fucking home. <laughs> Do you want to know how the internet talked? the phone up. I'm trying to get all the internet. You know? Yeah. And Melanie, listen, Melanie, you don't even know a world without emails, which freaks me out. You do, you, let me ask you this, Mel. Have you ever written a letter? <laughs> really? <laughs> to who, Melanie? Who did you write a letter to? <laughs> what? Prince's trust. To the Prince's Trust? Fuck. <laughs> Fucking, that's not a letter. Did you use a pen? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck you, Melanie. <laughs> I think the last time you wrote a letter was to Santa. <laughs> Princess Trust. Fuck off. Kids don't even like paper, Melanie. 
eight-year-old kids look at paper and go, this just sucks, it doesn't do nothing. There's no spell check on it. Where's my iPad? Okay. Now, those were easy ones. That's fine. Those were easy. We're going to get a little harder now. All right, Allie. What about Facebook, Allie? Yeah. I'm gonna fucking gotcha, fucking. Of course, who are you going to show your breakfast to, Allie? <laughs> Can't be emailing that shit now, can you? <laughs> Got another email from Allie with a plate of sausages that you really like. <laughs> Of course you are, Andrew, no doubt. I didn't think I was going to lose you. And then you're going to be on it forever. you you got Facebook, there's no doubt. It's because it's a drug. Facebook is a drug. you got friends you don't have to be friends with. You can like shit you don't have to like. You know what we used to call that? Cocaine. <laughs> a lot of friends I never liked. <laughs> a lot of shit I liked that I didn't. Now... Those were the two easy ones. Now we're gonna get into it. Are you ready? Allie? Yeah. What about Twitter, Allie? Never heard Not a fucking <laughs> chance. <laughs> but Andrew, I bet you might be on Twitter. Not. Huh? No. You're not on fucking Twitter. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Are you on Twitter? Really? <laughs> fuck, man. That's incredible. Fuck yeah, I, I'm, I'm fucking, not, I am on Twitter. I'm awesome at Twitter. <laughs> Guess how many followers I have? 15,000. Yeah. Jesus only had 13. <laughs> More popular than that, cunt. Okay, last one. This is the last one. Uh, okay, Ali. And if you're on this, it would actually freak me out. What about Snapchat? Doesn't even know what the fuck it is. You're not on Snapchat. No, you're not, but you're on it for fucking sure. Thank you, Melanie. She's totally on Snapchat. Now, do you even know what it is, Allie? No. No, okay, I didn't know what it was either. Don't sweat it, man. I tried to ask a young person. I said, hey, what's Snapchat? He said, fuck off, old man, this ain't for you. <laughs> And I'm gonna explain it to you, okay? It's a seven to 10 second video. I had to get a little child to tell me this. <laughs> it's a seven to 10 second video, little slice of your life. He called it a slice of your life because you can't save it, Allie. It's there and it's gone. It's like life, okay? And I'm glad you, because I get why you're on it. Your 20s, your life is fucking interesting. <laughs> we wanna know about it. But even if Ali was on Snapchat, like Melanie, you'd Snapchat shit like, I'm about to blow this guy in the bathroom. And we're like, <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> but what the fuck are you Snapchatting? My van broke down again. Ellen's really getting on my case about it. Just to see where everybody's at. But don't worry about it, Allie, because there is gonna be an age where none of this social media shit's gonna mean anything. And I, I, I saw it when my mother showed up last year. Now, this woman is 78 years old. She knows fuck all about social media. It ain't her world. You wanna know what this woman knows? You'll appreciate this, Elaine. She knows how to get stains out of a shirt. <laughs> with vinegar and potato peelings. <laughs> and we're always like, why don't you use Vanish, you crazy old bitch? <laughs> why are you fucking with my potatoes all the time? <laughs> Can't put Vanish on my chips. <laughs> right? right? Now, now she came. Now, like I said, I have a 16-year-old daughter who is right into this social media shit. She's probably seen every blowjob you've ever given, Mel. 
I was flicking through it going, God, did she ever take it out of her mouth? Okay. Now. 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 Now, these two tried to talk. They hadn't seen each other in three years, and they tried talking, but there was nothing there. Generation gap too wide. You know what I mean? Like, Mel, you don't hang out with your granny, do you? Nah, fuck. You're not going to go, hey, I got some coke. You want to go do the dance? You're going to wander into the house, wonder what the smell is, and then fuck off. That's what you do. That's what young people do to old people after they helped you. Okay. And they tried to talk. And they had to, because I watched my daughter turn to her granny and go, hey, granny, I'll tweet you on Twitter. And granny's head might as well have fucking exploded. <laughs> because she was like, what the, what the fuck is Twitter, sweetheart? <laughs> and why do you dress like such a slut? <laughs> And she does. Uh, you're not supposed to say the word slut. It's a derogatory term now, but she's 78. It's the only word she fucking knows. Uh, what she meant to say is she dresses provocatively, okay? And she does. You'd really like her. Um, and, and she does. She totally dresses provocatively. And why? Because she's 16. She's got the fucking body. Of course you're gonna dress like a slut. Hey, Allie, when you were 16, I bet you dressed like a slut, didn't you? <laughs> fucking skirt open, cut off jean, little ball hanging out the side there. Everybody see? Right about hey, Lane. Hey, Lane. Come and get some. Ooh, is that slutty Allie? <laughs> And you gotta realize, you gotta cherish those moments, cause they go. Just like a slut as long as you can, Mel. <laughs> Do the best you can. Cause Allie, you can't dress like a slut anymore at 59. No fucking way. Shirt open, cut off jeans, ball hanging down to your sock now. <laughs> Getting a caught in your bike chain all the time. The fuck out here, Elaine, my caucus. <laughs> Better not be Snapchatting this shit. <laughs> well, that's true. And, and she does dress like a slut. There's no doubt about it. And how do I know she dresses like a slut? Because if I dropped my daughter off in Saudi Arabia, she'd be dead in five fucking minutes. <laughs> She'd be like, where the fuck are all these rocks coming from? <laughs> That's pretty hard. <laughs> oh. Oh. Fuck Saudi Arabia, who gives a shit? I could give a flying fuck about Saudi Arabia. Their human rights are horrible, eh, Jackie? Yeah, they are, but, but it's their country. You know what I mean? It's their, it's their country, Craig. They can do whatever the fuck they want. I don't care. It's their shit. But fucking no booze, no flesh. Huh? Ain't gonna go there on your stag weekend, are you, Craig? <laughs> no, you're not. You're never gonna see the hangover for Saudi Arabia. <laughs> All of them coming to going, where the fuck are my hands? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. A lot of people are going, fuck, Tom, you can't say that about Saudi Arabia. Oh, yes, I can, right, Allie? Yeah, a lot of, a lot of people died so I could tell that fucking joke, Allie. A lot of people fucking died. And, but the funny part is, you want to know, you know where I can't say it, Allie? Saudi Arabia. Where they might appreciate it most. Uh, 
If I told that joke in Saudi Arabia, I'd be back here next year telling you a joke about how I got my tongue cut out. In sign language. If I could. So anyways. So anyway, I saw this little transaction. And this is what it all comes to, man. I saw this little fucking transaction between granny and her da granddaughter, and I realized something, man. All it is is we just get stupider and fucking stupider as we go along, okay? Because I, I, I started, when I saw that, I started thinking back to my grandfather when he lost technology. And he would have been burned this one. He lost technology back in 1977. He was 82 years old and the VCR showed up. <laughs> he would just sit there and go, didn't I just watch this program? <laughs> said, where's my horse? <laughs> and we were just seven-year-old kids. And, this, and we thought he was supposed to be the smartest one of us. <laughs> But he'd be like, how do you turn on the VCR? And we'd be like, it's this button and this button, you dumb fuck. Why is Grandpa so fucking stupid? He's the stupidest fuck I've ever seen. Doesn't even know how to work a fucking VCR. I'm 82. I'm seven. <laughs> now, but that's what I realized when I started thinking about that shit. That is what I realized, because we're all going to get there. That's eventually where we're going to be. We're not going to be in touch. And I'm going to love that day. I'm going to love the day that I'm no longer in touch. And don't think it ain't coming. Don't think 20, 30, 40 years from now, I'm not going to be as dumb as my grandfather was with whatever the fuck's going on. <laughs> don't think I won't be sitting there going, hey, grandkids, how do you turn on the laser holographic diggly doogler? <laughs> No, I mean, they're like, well, fuck you, stupid fuck. <laughs> you point at it and use the chip we injected in your head. And then just use your thought memory, stupid. Quit blinking, you're turning the stove on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I gotta get out of here. You guys are wild. the future. <laughs> what if they all do stand up? Oh, fucking be incredible. Fucking all of them. Damn Damn it, it, God. Stabby Alistair didn't do it. <laughs> Did Stabby Alistair tell you about David Dunn? Mm. You bet your fucking ass you did. David Dunn, you fucking, if you, if you want to walk by and walk around, you tell him about David Dunn. Don't stand on their feet and think you're a fucking king. Fuck, I... Club legend of Blackburn, David! <laughs> That's all you'll need to say. We find out tonight that that is not the truth. That not is... Not the truth. Okay, well, how... Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> nobody. That's all I know about Blackburn. Today. Not you guys. I'll tell you that. You guys are like, who the fuck is David Dunn? <laughs> we all know about David Dunn bringing fucking glasses. It's my first David Dunn. Okay. I'm cold. <laughs> David God. <laughs> he had a head injury about seven years ago. <laughs> I'm surprised he was even speaking. <laughs> oh, fuck. David Dunn. 
So Let's funny. Burn legend. Legend, Davy Dunn. <laughs> David <laughs> Dunn. <laughs> David Dunn. And the stretch is David Dunn. <laughs> Dunn. Club legend of Blackburn.